Did you know that these days most homes have three to four computers in them? It's a sign of our technologically advanced times, but it can also mean trouble. So-called cyber criminals are getting more organized and more sophisticated. Well, luckily for us, so are the software programs designed to protect us. And here now with some internet safety tips is a panel of experts. John Walsh, host of America's Most Wanted and co-founder of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, Nancy McBride, the National Safety Director of that organization, and Christopher Hickey, Vice President of CA Inc., one of the world's largest software companies. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Glad you. To be here. So, John, how bad is Internet crime in the U.S. right now? Well, I think everybody knows the Internet is the information superhighway. It's a wonderful tool, but it's also like a private hunting ground for the bad guys, and they do a lot of bad stuff on the Internet. The Federal Trade Commission now says that over 8 million Americans have had their identity and information compromised. That costs billions of dollars. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has received over 600,000 reports of child pornography. And right now they're analyzing 21 million still photos and videos of children being abused to locate those children to find out if they were kidnapped, if they were murdered, and if they're still being abused. And CA, our partner in, in fighting these crimes against children, has done a wonderful national survey that says about 50% of our kids are contacted over the Internet by strangers. John, that is so scary. But Nancy, do adults actually realize how at-risk kids are online? I really don't think they do, Maribel. They don't know what their kids are doing, who they're talking to. They don't understand the magnitude of risk. And kids don't understand what the consequences are. And somebody with bad intentions can find kids in a number of places, chat rooms, websites. And John, what's the best advice that you can give us to make the Internet safer for our kids and for us as well? Well, certainly for parents to grasp the concept that your kids are much more sophisticated right. with the technology. Oh, yeah. They grew up with this technology and computers. They teach us sometimes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and they can do it better than we can. So it's really about communication. And I think you have to sit down with your kids and go over some of the tips. Don't give out too much information. Don't tell them your name, the school you go to. Use a nickname. Photos, for example. Everybody's posting photos on MySpace. Think about one thing. When you post a sp photo on the internet it's in cyberspace forever wow. and when you're updating your status line before you go out or wherever you're going to an event please don't give out all that information because the bad guys need that information to find you or they'll use it in some way that is such great advice but you know as a parent there's only so much that we can do Chris is there a tool out there that can actually help us well CA's Internet Security Suite Plus mm -hmm. can help parents right it has a great parental control technology that allows you to block websites, monitor your child's time on the computer, as well as send emails or report on where the child's been on the internet. Simple as sending it right to your Blackberry. So I'm at work and I know exactly what my child's doing. Absolutely. That's wonderful. We also have a, a range of other security uh, features in the product, but most of all, CA stands behind this product with a $10,000 internet protection plan. That means that if you get hit with a virus, you can be reimbursed up to $5,000, and if your identity gets stolen while using the product, online, you could be reversed up to a $5,000 program for a total $10,000 of coverage. And you know, with all the dangers on the internet, um, MySpace just removed 80,000 convicted sex offenders who try to register mm. as MySpace participants, so it's more important than ever. And CA has uh, donated a dollar for the purchase of every one of their programs to the National Center. Um, if you get the extended protection, they'll donate $5, and they allowed, the, if you so choose, for the rebate to be given to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I think it's a, it's a terrific team. So, Chris, how much has been raised so far? We've raised over $500,000 to date, and we're just warming up. And that incredible generosity has allowed us to send our trained outreach teams out to really make sure parents and guardians and kids have all the information they need to make this a safer place on the internet. Thank you so Very much for this out. great advice. John, Nancy, Chris, thank you so much for being here. And to help you at home, we've posted a child safety sheet on our website with more information you may want to talk to your child about. Just visit us at thebalancingact.com slash keep America safe.